$100,000 breakthrough. Hello, I'm Prophetess Zerese, and I am back with another prophetic word from the Lord. God says, get ready for a hundred thousand dollar break. And for who this word is for, it will resonate with your spirit. And so Saturday, the Lord blessed me with a vision. And in this vision, I saw the number 100,000. And immediately right after I had this vision, the Lord reminded me of a dream that I had about 12 to 13 years ago. And in this dream, I heard the spirit of the Lord say, they have been keeping a hundred thousand dollars from you. And then I woke up. And the Lord revealed to me that they represent the enemy and the, the enemy represents Satan because only Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. And Jesus comes to give us life and life more abundantly, okay? Jesus' purpose is to give us a rich and satisfying life. And so I knew right then and there that the enemy was the one who was keeping this breakthrough from me. And so the fact that the Lord reminded me of this dream right after I had the vision of the 100,000 number, I knew that those both correlate. And so I spent more time with the Lord and the Lord confirmed to me that this is a rhema word for today for some of us. This is a rhema word for some of us today. And so I prophetically decree and declare at, at this held up $100,000 breakthrough be released on today because of being for, because of being faithful to God in the midst of adversity. The Lord said for who this word is for, you have been faced with many years of adversity. And, and, and because you learn to not let these unfortunate circumstances keep you from praising the Lord, from serving the Lord, from pursuing, pursuing the Lord, from seeking the Lord and all of his righteousness, God says everything will be added on to you. In fact, even what was held back from you. God says that there was a, a held up $100,000 breakthrough that was held up. And God is saying he's taking it back 12 years, 13 years from now. Okay. And why is the Lord doing that? Because he said he doesn't want us to be deceived or to be, he doesn't want to be, he, he says, don't be deceived. Okay. Don't be deceived. God will not be mocked. We shall reap what we sow. And for who this word is for, you have been sowing your gifts. You have been sowing your talents. You have been sowing tears. You have been sowing kindness and forgiveness and, and, and labor of love. And God says, in the midst of you doing this, the enemy came in like a flood, right? And God says, although he lift up a standard, he allowed the enemy to hold this from you. And it reminded me of how God allowed Joseph to be thrown in the pit. He allowed his brothers to throw him in the pit. He allowed Potiphar's wife to falsely accuse him and put him in prison. And so what is God saying? He's saying, listen, God allowed this to happen. Yes, he allowed it, but it's going to work together for the good. Why? Because you love him and because you are called according to his purpose. What the enemy didn't know, hallelujah, that there will be a time where God, where God will turn it around. There will be a time where God will work this together for our good. The enemy didn't know that, my God, this is the season of where we are, 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 are not only obeying the Lord now, but been obeying the Lord for many, many years. Okay, and God is saying, because of this, I'm not only going to let the blessings chase you down, but I'm also going to let the held up blessings chase you down. My God, God says this held up one hundred thousand dollar breakthrough is being released on today. Hallelujah. As it is coming out of my mouth. And God says, if this word resonates with your spirit, my God, I want you to declare it and write. I receive my hundred thousand dollar held up breakthrough in Jesus name. And so God wants you to be encouraged today. My God to not allow the enemy to deceive you for a, 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 another second into thinking that what you sold will not be what you reap. 
This is in fact your harvest season to reap, my God, blessings and held up blessings. Blessings and held up blessings, my God. God says, get ready to receive this $100,000 breakthrough. And God is saying, um, um, this is to advance the kingdom of God. This is to uh, 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 pay your debt. This is to invest in your self-care. This is to invest in your children and grandchildren's self-care, future children's self-care. This is, in, this is to invest in your children's education, my God. Hallelujah. God is saying this is to bless you to be a blessing. God says, I'm giving you wisdom on how to spend it wisely. I'm giving you wisdom on how to spend it wisely so that it can be multiplied. And God is saying, start planning. Start planning what you're going to do with this $100,000 breakthrough. Start planning so that when it comes, it will be spent wisely. And God says, remember, he wants you to remember the times. He wants us to remember the times that we pray to God for different things. You may have prayed to be a financier for the kingdom of God. You may have prayed to be debt free. You may have prayed for provision for the vision. You have, may have prayed to um, have the provision for your you and your family self-care needs. You may have uh, prayed for the provision to, to, to afford uh, the best tutoring and better education for your children. You may have prayed to just simply be blessed to be a blessing. And so what God is saying is prepare for it. Prepare for your $100,000 breakthrough. My God, this is a specific word for some of you today. And God is saying, the way that I want you to prepare is by remembering the promises you made during prayer. Remember the promises you made during prayer, like Hannah. When Hannah prayed to God to bear a child, she made a vow to God that she would dedicate that child back to God. What were the promises you made to God when you prayed for this breakthrough? God says, remember that today in Jesus' name, like Hannah, okay? Like Hannah did, referring to 1 Samuel 1, chapter 21 through 28. When time permits, read that. And so... The Lord also wanted me to seal this word with the blood of Jesus, okay? So we seal this word with the blood of Jesus. God wants me to bind up every monitoring spirit, every witch, every warlock, every Goliath, every evil eye, and every imposter that wants to steal, kill, and destroy this breakthrough. Not today, Satan. Somebody type in the comments, not today, Satan. This held up blessing is being released today in the name of Jesus and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. And for those who this word is for, hallelujah, I bind up anxiety, depression, fear, my God, and weariness that's been afflicting you, that's been provoking you to give up on the promise, that's been provoking you to stop waiting on the Lord, that's been provoking you to keep being weary and well doing and so god wants you to be encouraged today that as i prophetically decree and declare hallelujah that this hundred thousand dollar break will be released he also wanted me to release today that along with this hundred thousand dollar break that you shall receive compensation and justice in jesus name along with this break my god hallelujah god bless you and i pray for who this word is for you will receive it today and if you want to sow into this word i will leave the information down in the description box down below god bless you and i will see you next time